In Paris on July 14, 1789, this congested traffic-filled square, called the Place de la Bastille, teemed with angry crowds of Parisians in search of ammunition and weapons. They had come here to take them from the great prison fortress called the Bastille that once overlooked the square. Its high stone walls dominated this part of the city, and its dark dungeons held many unfortunate citizens. When one of the guards at the Bastille fired into the crowd, the outraged citizens smashed down the doors to the fortress, killed the governor of the prison, and began to tear the building apart stone by stone. Within two years, revolutionaries had used the stones to build this bridge, so, as they said, people could trample forever on the despised old fortress. Right after the Bastille fell, rioters marched here to the Hotel de Ville, the city hall of Paris, to search for more arms. Three days later, the king himself made an appearance here to kiss the new tricolored flag just adopted by the revolutionaries. Its red and blue colors were taken from the flag of Paris, and the Marquis de Lafayette had introduced the royal white between them. In the meantime, revolutionaries took over the city hall and formed a new city government, the Commune of Paris, to replace the royalist followers of the king, who had governed the city for so long. By the end of July, the events in Paris, coupled with uprisings in other communities across France, frightened the royalists enough that the Revolutionary National Assembly was able to continue on as the official government of France.